Welcome in once again. We're here to feed uh, that Yu-Gi-Oh cardboard addiction, guys. You guys already know. Welcome in. What do we have here, Jay? What the heck is this? We'll touch base in just a bit. Guys, the Indianapolis WCQ Regional. It happened a couple of days ago. Uh, not too long ago at the end of March. Look, guys, over 650 duelists. Wow, almost 700 duelists here at 672. We're going to break down you know the top decks just here real quick as we can see the pie chart man that's just too much between fire kings and snake eyes as well i mean and in the top four we did have despia um here sneaking in in the top four and then voices voice and cash tira rounding up the top eight and then everything else the representation man fire king and snake eyes taking over i mean the bandless should be just around the corner a lot of people speculating on you know fire getting hit snake eye getting hit you know they're just dominating too much of the pie chart but we'll see what happens with that today the deck that i want to talk about is branded despia guys because i mean we already know we already know snake eye fire king really it's been the same deck that has been topping consistently in these top tier high level Yu-Gi-Oh events for the last weeks to couple of months so despia is actually one that has been competing you know lately um and as we can see here again a lot of people expect albion to get him on, on the ban list a lot of people expect you know other possible hits maybe a little bit to the bestial engine um even though you only see one of here so that's good i don't think Lu lubelli would be straight up banned um but you just never know i mean as we can see here just going through it we have triple t's uh down here um we have triple uh, fusion deployments allure of darkness obviously branded fusion blazing cartesia card we've been talking about forever on the channel we just recently went over the ots of a the jester of despia as well obviously the quem here and uh branded opening so yeah we'll discuss um uh you know a couple of these cards go through i think a couple of these extra cards extra deck cards as well so guys let's get it let's start off with blazing cartesia the virtuous we went through um you know the prismatic secret it was a, like three three dollars and a half we've been talking about that version for a while now for like since it was a billy a billy 52s maybe you know so that one's running up but i haven't talked about the starlight rare in a while and look guys this card was 142s this year at the beginning of this year in february essentially look at this spiking up like crazy here from 142s all the way up you know to 185s a lot of one ofs and if we clean this up here real quick janitor style we do see again 185s you have a couple here place up but after that is two hundos and then it's 250s and then almost 300 dollars towards the bottom of the page two pages only again if you want a place set you don't have a direct place set from one seller that you can buy or purchase right now only 13 listings guys look you see people already here for a card that was 142s paying almost 60 dollars above you know the previous low a couple of months ago and people are coming in and paying 200s and honestly i wouldn't be surprised if this card um comes down here towards you know the 200s 250s it's a starlight rare max rarity as we can see you know people play play sets they want to bling out their deck to put it max rarity and uh this one look you can see the clear of the man in the last couple of months in an uptrend in the last three months um for this card the trend is your friend until the end guys and this trend is strong it's in an uptrend right now supply is low for a max rarity version of this card one to keep in mind then we have branded opening i can't believe this card only has two prints ever you have the first um ed og super rares from dawn of majesty and then you have the 2022 the 2022 prismatic secret rare max rarity version honestly to pay three four five dollars for the super rare i would just go for the max rarity prismatic secret look starting an uptrend same deal since the end of january early february this deck has started an uptrend as we can see with the previous card blazing cartesia as well as branded opening look guys just continues going up in the last three months look and on the yearly chart is that a new high new local high here all-time high you know even above the previous pivot high so the trend is your friend until the end look at it higher lows and higher highs it's there in the chart i mean it can't be more obvious more evident people coming in buying even multiple place sets at six billies a pop 63 listings here you do see let me just clean this up here real quick you do see a couple of deals here and there but look only 43 listings a lot of one of a place set you do have to pay shipping um but yeah the next place is going to be pushing six dollars five pages only look people getting ready you know a lot of speculation yes it might get a hit to i'll be on a couple of hits here and there but people have high expectations to adapt and adjust and to still be able to compete post ban list wow over a thousand four hundred copies 
that's an insane wall of china man that's just mind-boggling guys we have fusion deployment i don't i mean the ultra rares are threes two threes i don't know why i would just get the prismatic secret here then you have super rare so three prints i mean but only 75 listings for this super rare that's pretty low guys that's pretty low um so if the budget version is already pushing billies you want to make sure that you pick up this max rarity prismatic secret from the 2021 tins um right now this is value again triple fusion deployments right here as we can see honestly this is the one to pick this is the one that i would be picking up right now see the spike a lot of consolidation sideways i mean you do have let's just refresh here double check here it says over 100 listings um yes uh look look right there right there verified yeah near mint clean this up real quick look at it right there you have a couple of deals should i pick this up from the school phase 69 listings but look the massive walls are already pushing twos that's good to see hundreds of copies on the market on in the market why for this card because it gives you a chance to come in get your place up pay six billies for it maybe an extra couple of shekels for the taxes and you're good you're in you have your place that you're ready in case post balance you decide to play a branded especially this version i used to own a lot of a lot of um these cards this specific card a lot of copies that's what i meant to say and these look beautiful if i would be br running branded this is the specific version that i would be running and honestly i think it's still underrated and undervalued right now um it could easily hit 250s after these walls of china are gone and maybe even beyond so uh yeah we have alert of darkness honestly the speed dual tournament pack three that's pretty good six seven billies let's just check out that you know let's check that out real quick here we have a lot of versions that's good a lot of commons readily available alerts that's good you know 50 cents two quarters for an alert that never gets old man such a great card multi-format card um honestly this ultra is not bad around 85 cents under a billy you do have other supers um but honestly i would just get the secret right now i mean it's a hard card to see i actually own it in person and i don't know it's just obviously a lure of darkness so you know all of this is dark but it's still secret it's nice i mean it's my favorite rarity out of the alert of darknesses but uh yeah this and honestly it could look better some way somehow but uh I, this is the version that i love that i enjoy and 26 listings here a lot of one-ups guys hard to get this card three pages only this is the one that i would be getting right now because again it's mid max rarity it still does look beautiful and uh yeah if not i would be getting this one let me see seven eight billies i like it 16 listings here this will quickly be double digits two pages only um right here as we can see triple alert of darkness guys so as you can clearly see here um this card is not bad not bad at all for a card that used to be worth 27 dollars 28 more than that dumped down after the reprints and uh this is not bad like if you're into collecting or you want speed dual cards things of that nature this is a great price for this card right now then we have foolish burial guys an iconic card um this is the version that i own the lost art yes i could could have gotten the secret but honestly just that cross there it got me man i don't know just the way it looks this is the version that i have when i was playing um that i had when i was playing sprite great beautiful card and obviously you have these dual terminals at five dollars that's not that bad because these ultras here and they're you know five dollars as well i would just get the dual terminal compared to most of these other um foolish burials like commons and rares things of that nature but if not if you want to go a little bit of a high rarity play i would actually get the lost start but the secret rare also looks nice um so yeah looking at here the lost start look this is a double top formation at 16s you know coming back down to give a couple of people some deals to be able to get this card at cheaper prices um 21 listings three pages again it's a lost start you do see the walls of china here but it's not easy to get this card as easy as it looks people coming in the demand is always there there's people that collect lost arts plus you know some people actually play this card like you know this deck right here so um yeah i like this lost art you know i'm not really into lost arts things of that nature but when there's lost arts like this one i like it because i get to play it it looks really nice it's an alternate art so i really do like this card and then you have the dt you know the dt in the last three months was fours you know going up to fives bumping up there as you can see in the chart yeah you have a seven wall here but then after that is five billies and beyond um so 10 listings only one page hard to get these dts i actually have a couple of these that i bought at around two to three so hopefully these are double digits one day we'll see we'll see then we have polymerization this specific version i really like this hidden arsenal chapter one card because no one's talking about hidden arsenal no one's cracking this open anymore no one's actually buying you know cards from that set so that's good you come in you get this version just getting harder and harder to get as the days go by 47 listings here 
look it's two dollars and some change not bad you come in at the bottom of the page is already 350s you do have a fiver here but after that not too many play sets left five pages only and look the demands coming in people coming in you know picking up their copies i would if i would be playing this card this is the version that i would be playing because i really like it i love the artwork it looks beautiful you know with this alternate art um it's just the one to be picking up in my humble opinion then we have guardian chimera a card that i haven't talked about in ages we were talking about this single print uh when when it was single print you know um here in uh, battle of chaos right this was the only version then we got these reprints these were single digits we said guys pick these up i made some good money with this because i bought it around 9 10 sold at 30s um and it kept going up actually but now it's died back down to 20s across the board for these two versions honestly if you're gonna get the just get the secret why would you pay 20s for a don't try i don't i i've never understood situations like these but oh well um and then you have the crs at 45s honestly i still think this card needs a reprint um soon um it did come in in, in a battle of, of chaos and maze of memory so it's been a while already um this card needs a more readily available version as people actually down here are playing multiples of these so um the demand is already there the demand is there you want to make sure that you keep this one in mind i still feel that we'll get an impending reprint coming soon so i wouldn't be like necessarily investing into a card like this maybe not too much exposure but if i would need it to play i would come in and pay 20 billies for this but i'm surprised this card is not strong into the teens you know i thought it would be in the teens right now um but uh yeah this one's actually holding strong then we have albion the sanctified dragon all the speculation around this card getting hit on the list now spiked up to 20 to 30s now again retracing back down to the mean panic is taking over this card you know on um, balance fears and look right now barely holding on to 20s as we can see 21 listings three pages only again people coming in still buying this card a lot man the demand is here but uh yeah 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 i mean this one again if it gets hit as a lot of people have been speculating it's just too good then you know the deck obviously gets impacted um getting uh you know with certain win cons and things of that nature um but yeah still think the deck survives um you know without this card so we'll see what happens we need a ban list already i don't know what what konami's waiting for and then we have the best deals here we had the one and one we have the one Saranir and the one lubelli i mean honestly uh you know this card has always been be between 350s to fives always just you know cycling up and down like a roller coaster look a lot of one us but yeah the walls are china right there five billies 87 listings for all of these one of their deals card is essentially a five dollar card um and again i don't see uh, this one particularly getting hit on the list so i think this is a safe investment play you know based on that speculation um for this prismatic secret max rarity the tins are getting harder to get bisous are not going anywhere most likely we'll see um you know if cards like Lou belly here actually get hit look made a low of 1281 right now pushing 14s already that's considerable you know it is it is i mean you do have massive ones of china right here at 1370 after shipping and yeah that seems to be the market price i mean 83 listings again right now a lot of people are speculating that this can possibly get hit maybe the two maybe the one doubt that it gets banned but if it gets any type of hit the value of this card will be destroyed and i think it would be a single digi prismatic secret rare now if it avoids avoids the ban list then this has the potential to quickly be in the 20s you know maybe even higher 25 to 30s at the bare minimum why because the demand would come in people will no longer be you know fearing the markets and the ban list and this and that and the other no they would get their copies so that they they can play and live to fight another day so ban list that's why it's so important right now ban list season just a lot of people a lot making a lot of decisions just a lot of people on the sidelines just waiting to see that ban list finally pan out come out and to react to it and then make the necessary uh moves guys don't forget guys we have a giveaway right here again shout out to andrew you know in every single video i'm gonna make sure i shout him out he sent even more cards on the way i'll make sure to let you guys know at 4.5k look free cardboard for the community as always we're transparent integrity at its finest we will be giving away these cards look staples like ash like imperm you know what else big eye all of these cards are being given away to you guys to the community three lucky winners plus a member as well coming soon at 4.5k stay tuned even more goodies coming you want to participate in the giveaway one click man just subscribe right there one click 
you're in it can't get any look right there boom ring that bell that's it you stay tuned to our fresh off the press content and you participate in our channel giveaway none of this content is official financial advice it's for entertainment purposes only link in the description down below swing by discord say hi you know let's have some fun in there great environment you know a lot of great discussions don't miss out and 15 dollars off 15 dollars off meta relevant cards like this don't miss out take advantage of this deal everything in the link in the description down below guys we have ycs medellin colombia no one's talking about this event this happened again last weekend no one cared no one cared look look at the pie chart essentially half of the chart same as over here in the states but snake eye was a little bit more popular down there i mean there was only 483 duelists so that's inc that, that's crazy to me that you know um oh, regionals over here are bigger than ycs's massive um Yu -Gi -Oh events but uh yeah i mean as we can see the winner christian urania here snake eye taking over um and then we had uh what runic guys runic was very very impressive I actually want to make sure that we actually just show that deck for you guys and then obviously cash tier fire kings despia as well you know making moves voices voice so uh salmon great sneaking in and uh yeah we had manadiums and uh flund flown fluff fluff flag <laughs> flunderies guys top 32 man hopefully you guys are having fun but yeah a lot of people from many different countries yo shout out to my guys from the dr let's go let's go fee dead addiction let's get it man hey i say fee whenever i get happy man i need to get fat man need to feed that addiction from the dr shout out to my guys man repping it up with the top four man cash tier and fire king love it when the island pops up man ripping it up right there really appreciate it but uh yeah yeah yeah. let's dig in stun ruin it guys taking over we're gonna actually you know check a couple of these cards here second place at a ycs no one's talking about this no one's talking about this right now it's like the ycs came and went no one talked about it. it's like it never existed and still certain decks were getting results down there we'll show this in just a tad bit but here look the winner obviously playing snake eye you know boohoo in the sense nothing new it is what it is you know eh, 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 eh. just synchron what poppy yeah we, we get it snake ash we're just waiting for a list for this deck honestly and then here we have second place let's go with runic stun stun runic here as we will be showing i'll just couple cover a couple of cards that i want you guys to keep in mind but look at that we were just talking about unending nightmare the other day you know uh, just cards we're always talking about skill drain you know d fisher from battles of legend on monsters revenge what else we're always talking about all these inspector border we touch base on the qcsr man i don't know how i do it man but uh yeah stun runic again triple dualities that's why duality we also covered it and it's going up you know towards double digits tips you know there's still four to fives um and i actually need it just real quick here because i think i forgot let me just double oh no there it is guys so yeah let's start with time tearing morganite guys this is a super rare two dollars and 67 cents moving on up to five. You have the one up but it's five fitties already 46 listings guys you guys think man no one's talking about ycs this and that but these ycs's affect the markets this card look it was what four dollars the other day pushing to sixes guys you have a couple of one ups if you want to place it you're gonna have to pay 625 after shipping four dollars here and uh 34 listings and uh, look people coming in they're just grabbing their play sense they're grabbing the the card you know the cards that the amount of cards that they need and this card is just broken it's broken i can't believe people in 2024 you know using this card with the other cards that we'll be uh, discussing today but yes yeah, i getting a re uh, reprinted in the tins later on this year so make sure you keep that in mind then we're going to discuss runic in just a bit but look amano iwato guys this card broken from the days man of true draco <laughs> yeah man give us the king release the king konami this card is broke it just is i can't believe this common is a dollar only has two prints since 2018 that is insane insane guys it's mind-boggling to me like why konami wouldn't give us some um, <clears throat> excuse me guys you know an, a holographic version of this in an ots or something even as a super i don't understand card was free at 70 cents under a billy now it's two dollars and really walls are at 250s for a common man eight listings only single digit listings one page here insane look people coming in getting their places <laughs> excuse me guys getting their places look just a spike i mean ycs results people now speculating with stun runic you know playing a mono of waddles just a broken broken card um as we can see here and it's moving on up man from both versions they're one to two billies um and uh 
who knows can this be the next five dollar common i mean we'll see we have card of demise guys a card that actually has what well, okay okay this came in the i don't know in the ultimate kaiba set that's pretty cool i mean all across the board the higher rarities are five bitlies and then the ultras are two to threes honestly i would just get the secret here the max rarity beautiful card and look only 17 let's see only 16 listings card was three dollars and 30 cents comfortably no one cared about this card boom spiking up to six dollars a pop two pages only wow almost pushing eights down here i still own my one copy um you know for my true draco deck yo imagine this card go, come up comes back off you know to two or something like that or three that's insane man those were the days with true draco i won't lie but yeah the demand is coming in guys as you can see on the charts men lie women lie the charts don't lie you see the clear spike in demand with this card that's just crazy to me runix as well guys as we can see we talked about a couple of these cards not too long ago we said to pick these cards up it's just a great engine cheap engine to have access to i mean sleepner from duelist nexus is still around 10 11 bucks that's not bad runic tips are four to fives here um for the ogs and three to fours maybe fives max for the prismatic secrets hugan it's around two three billies um and the prismatic secret is cheap as well so honestly man this is a cheap deck core um to pick up right now still actually getting results across and around the world as you can see um guys and uh, we're talking about the runner up of a YCS. I don't care, Jay, but that's in South America. And, you know, it's not the same as in the States and this and that and the other. Guys, at the end of the day, there was what, 400 and what? It was hundreds of people. Look at that. 408. That's almost 500. Almost 500 people, guys, at the end of the day to be a runner up with this deck. It's pretty impressive to me. Playing the one of the floodgates right there. Um, and uh, look at that. Sky Crisis. Double Sky Crisis. That's pretty interesting. Let me know what you guys think guys thank you so much for your time for your support for your attention stay fresh